Hi, I'm Nate Moore. Welcome to Lesson 50. We're all the way to Excel Video 50, and we're going to talk more about conditional formatting today. And we're going to talk a little bit about, a little bit about icons and the sets that are available and how we can format things. Let's assume that I have these new patient referrals to my clinic, and I have my top referring physicians here. And over here in 2009 and 2010, I have the number of new patients that they've referred to my clinic, and I want to see the difference, so I've taken this formula here to look at the difference. There's uh, some conditional formatting ways to make this column, this change column, a lot easier to visualize. And here's what you do. You go to conditional formatting, you go to icon sets, and look at all these options here for icon sets. Um, if we come over here, uh, I'd like for you to see them change as we go. Let's see if we can do this and then do conditional formatting icon. There we go. See, so if we do this, now you can see some examples of how they look. So this are, you know, green arrows are for up and yellow is relatively flat and red's down. You can do the same thing with flags. If you're going to print in black and white, you can do gray arrows. We can do circles. We can do shapes. We can do stoplights. We can do symbols with the check mark and the exclamation and the X or outside the circle. Um, these are all three icon scales. Here's four. We've got up, um, kind of halfway up, halfway down, and down. Same thing in black and white. Um, there it is going from uh, red to black, or from green to yellow to red to black. Um, you can make it look like uh, bars on a cell phone. You can do a whole variety of things to this. Let's just do something simple like this one. And once you have it in there, then what you can do is you can go in and we'll go back to conditional formatting. The cells that I want to edit are selected, so I'm going to go to manage rules. And it says, hey, for these, for the current selection, here are the rules that you have in place. You have one. And we can edit that rule and look at what it's doing. Let's drag it maybe a little bit up here so you can see it better. So the icon is the white now when the value is uh, greater than or equal to 67%, make it green. When it's between 67 and 33%, make it yellow. And when it's less than 33%, make it red. Well, we can control that a number of different ways. Obviously, we can do greater than or equal to here and the number here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play with this, and let's do a number. And I'm going to come over and look at my data. Part of the challenge is this is random data, and it's going to move on me. But let's say when value is, when I've got more than five new patients, five more than I had last year. Make it green, that's good for me. And when I've got between five and let's say negative five, and I'm gonna let's make this a number, and then come back and make it negative five. So when I've got but somewhere between four and negative five, somewhere in that range where um, I'm kind of flat between this year and last, why well, make it yellow? And then after I hit tab here, red, will, red recognizes, hey, you've got negative 5 here, so when it's less than negative 5, I'm going to make it red. And we'll click OK. If for whatever reason, we've talked about this before, and uh, you're, um, you want to look at it the other way, a reverse order, where uh, you want green when the value is really uh, a lot lower. Uh, maybe it's a PSA test and you want it to be low or, or something like that. You can reverse the order, and you can also just show the icon. But let's do this, and let me show you what it looks like. Let's apply it. And now what I have is, if it's flat, and the only one I have that's flat is yellow, if it's down by more than 5, that's 16, and that 37, 18, these are all red. And then here's a 5, and 5 and higher, it's going to go uh, a green arrow for me. And to me, that makes it a whole lot easier to see the changes from year to year, particularly if you've got data that's um, updated automatically or linked to live data or whatever, as you change things and refresh, let's just, um, and then we'll delete that. So every time I put a number in, it's gonna change. As we do that, and you see the numbers change, the conditional formatting is doing it automatically. It's easy at a glance to see which physicians are going up and which are going down with the help of those arrows. I hope you found that helpful. I want to show you one more example next time with icons in this patient satisfaction survey. So stay tuned. We'll do that in Excel video 51.
Thanks for watching.